Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a haul slash review and some favorites that I have. So first I'm going to start off with some drugstore products in case um, you guys, you know, are looking for something to try out or something new. So I'm going to start off with a product that I have recently found out about and I actually found out about it through my sister because she watches Jenny on YouTube. So I don't, I don't know if you guys know her. So my sister told me about the Nair a uh, face cream hair remover so if you you know struggle with any hair on your face whether it's your stash or the little fuzzies that you get on your cheeks or your forehead or your chin anything like that this product works really really well so it says that it is moisturizing so that's a plus plus. and then it has sweet almond oil and it's for upper lip chin and face so I guess I'll just show you what it looks like. So it comes in a bottle like this. Oh! It's literally just a cream. It doesn't come with an applicator or anything like that. You just put it on your hands and you rub it all over your face, a pretty thick layer. And then you leave it on for about five minutes. If you have thicker hair, you probably leave it on for a little bit longer. I tried it and I left it on for about eight minutes. And I probably shouldn't have just because I have sensitive skin. And it ended up leaving me kind of patchy. But aside from that, it like took off all my hair. Like I was really smooth. I just know better next time not to leave it on as long. Maybe five minutes like it says. But it does say, um, you know, if you have thicker hair, you can leave it on for less than 10 minutes. I really don't have anything bad to say about it except the fact that maybe if you have sensitive skin, don't leave it on for more than five minutes. So the next thing is this moisturizer by Garnier, Garnier, Garnier. It's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And I was like, gel? You know, like I'm used to lotions, but I just decided to try something new. And I really, really liked how this felt on my skin because it is a gel. It feels really like just refreshing and it's, I don't know, it just, it makes my skin feel soft. After I take off all my makeup, I put this on, or even when I'm not wearing any makeup, I wash my face and I put it on and it makes it feel so good. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it comes in a little bottle like this. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So like I said, it's not a lotion, it is a gel. But if you're looking for a new moisturizer to try, this is a really good one. It does say it is for dry skin. And what it says it does is skin feels fresher, looks smoother, visible reduction in rough, visible reduction in roughness caused by dryness, which it does do. So moving on, I got this from Target and this is the Garnier Clean Plus Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. It does leave your skin really really smooth especially like in this area and it does clear out some of your blackheads but it doesn't necessarily you know take away all of them if you have a lot like i said it is really good for leaving your skin just nice and smooth and getting rid of all that like dirt and makeup that you have on and i got a small size just because i you know i wasn't gonna get the big one and then it not work but it does so i will be purchasing the big one so the next thing I got were these kiss lashes and they are in the style shy This is what they look like I was really drawn to them because they look different than any other eyelash. They look very Not too long, but also very like wispy looking which is what I really like So in the back it tells you the difference between these lashes and other lashes These say that they're more pointy and it says that they have a, ta a tapered end and others have a blunt end, if that makes more sense. That's something that really attracted me to this product and I can't wait to try them out. The next thing I picked up was the Nivea Post Shave Balm, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about. It's amazing to use when you're gonna wear makeup because your makeup stays on and it doesn't move around. I also really like the way it smells. It smells kind of like a guy, but it smells good. And the smell goes away after you're done putting on your makeup, so you're not gonna smell like a guy. So if you wanna go ahead and try this product, it is only $5, so I would recommend that you try it out, especially if you're looking for a product that you want to get because this will help your makeup stay on. 
So moving on to Sephora goodies, I first picked up the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, and this is in the shade Light 45. And I got this thinking that it was gonna be like my perfect color because it does have yellow undertones, or it did claim to have yellow undertones, but when I got it and I swatched it on my neck, it looked very pink. So I don't know if I should just stick with it and work with it, or if I should just change it, I haven't really decided yet. And I can't give you guys a review on it because I haven't tried it out. But when I do, if you guys want a review on it, I will definitely do that. Then the next thing I got was the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is the Smoothing Primer. I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I decided to try it out. But just in case I didn't like it, I did get the smaller one. My skin is very sensitive to primer, so anytime I get a primer that I've heard a lot of good things about, it always ends up being like a disappointment to me. And it's not, it's not the product, it's just my skin. And if you guys want a review on this too for dry skin, I will definitely do that too. So the next thing I got was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've also heard a lot of good things about this. And I want to see if it's really worth it or not. And this is in the shade Custard Medium 1. So another review if you guys want one. Last but not least, I got a sample of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And I've been wanting to try this for such a long time. A lot of people love this foundation. And I got the sample size because I was not about to spend $62 or $63 on a foundation that I may or may not like. If you guys have tried this product, please let me know what you guys think about it. And then from MAC, I got the Soft Ochre Pro, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And everybody has this to use for their eyeshadow base or eyeshadow primer. So I wanted to see if it was really worth it. It is $21, I believe. And the first time I tried it was in my previous video. If you haven't seen that already, I'll link it down below. But I thought that this was amazing. It helped with discoloration. It helped with keeping your shadows on for a really long time. And even down to nighttime when I was washing off all my makeup, it was pretty dang hard to get it off, which is definitely not a bad thing. That just that just means that it works. So if you've been hesitant about trying it, I would really recommend that you do. So that is it to this video of my favorites, my reviews, and my haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any other requests or suggestions on what else I should try, please let me know down below. And like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.